Welcome back, everybody, to TF Connect 2020, supporting Special Effect, a UK best charity to allow everybody to game. My name is Looster200. I'm joined with WeTube on production right now. Uh, we have some very, very exciting stuff going on here right now. We have the next North American match that's going to be going on between the syringe gun noises and bearded brigands for that we're going to go ahead and throw it over to dolphin and august our casters for this final match in the evening gentlemen well, on this lovely evening getting ready to cast these two amazing teams uh, i had the pleasure yesterday to cast with syringe gun noises and from the matches that i could see um, i i think bearded is going to put up a really good fight uh what what, what are you thinking is going to happen august I mean, I had, you know, that was a perfect segue because I had this bit that I was practicing that I just thought up right when you guys were casting the the last match. It's, it goes like this, okay? It goes like this. When you all thought that the bearded brigands' beards couldn't get any sc scruffier, <laughs> I almost messed that up, they're going to be back right now doing another scuffle. Like, what's going on? All the beards are just bearding. Anyway, let's go over some uh, let's go over some rosters right now. I'm um, so I'm gonna go over the bearded brigands. So tonight we've got Proct, Lazy Purple, Sergeant Pinecone, Benny, Hot Rod, and Jaybird. Fringe Gun Noises side, we're gonna have Array Seven, Noltox, Dan Green, Beef, Skyman Slash, and Maxbox. We're starting out counting down, and let's look at the rollouts. Who are you gonna be watching? I'm gonna be uh, watching. Benny on this rollout. I'm going to be watching Jaybird because he's on the sniper right now, and uh, it's quite an easy sight line to go through on process bed, but I'm also seeing that Dan is running engineer in the first few seconds of the game. I uh, <laughs> wonder how that's going to turn out for this. He's going to bring the Uncle Dane into the game, and he's got the mini sentry rolling out through here, and it's immediately down. No surprise yes. there. That's right. We're going to have to... Sniper Ooh. taking off the first headshot of the game onto Maxbox. Looks like the medic team yet again doing another headshot. Only the Pyro, NG, and Medic, Array 7, wanting to get out. Maxbox and the NG, Dan Green, trying to say no, we can stay, but Array 7 getting popped dead by Lazy Purple, getting another pick with that Force of Nature. Yeah, that Force of Nature just one, two hit shot, uh, meat shot actually, onto the medic, just completely deletes him from the game. And uh, Jaybird doing a lot of work as well in the sniper class. He uh, he took down Maxbox, as you said earlier, and he's just been wreaking havoc. But we all see the Demonite here, and Danny <laughs> runs straight into three or four blue players, and uh, he gets deleted almost immediately. And yeah, it looks like they're going to take his Uber through one. That's Benny all the time, the whole time. Benny everywhere, everywhere, anywhere. And uh, he's taking the Uber, although it's faded now, and they're starting to back up. Hot Rod living on such low HP, although they do get out. And uh, it looks like they're going to have to reset from this last push, although the Jurati is uh, providing some assistance to them as well. Yep, as you can see here, Benny and Hot Rod trying to hold the point, but they get their reinforcements finally. We're going to have to see if they try to contest this. However, Array 7 is building that Uber almost at 100%. They're moving towards IT. Let's see if they uh, flank by. Lazy Purple shouting out their location, getting burned by the Pyro. Trying to get stuffed in IT. Soldiers just throwing rockets, but... The Ray 7 Quick Fix Uber comes out. You gotta watch out for Hot Road dying. We had the spoon come out, almost getting that. Hot Road, Jaybird caught headshot. up. Ooh, saves that the was, mid. That was such a, a like a very hard angle to hit. <laughs> it's another one. Jesus Christ, can anyone stop this man? Finishes off Null Talks with a body shot. He's on a 4K at the moment. Can he take down Skyman as well? He can do He's it. He's gonna he have to it. be prancing around this point trying to live. Uh, does get hit with. Was that milk? That was on, my right, on my HUD right now. It looks like Karate, but I thought I saw the. Scout throws some milk. Anyway, uh, Lazy Purple is going to pick that one up with Jaybird's assistance. Lazy Purple him. isn't done. Oh, he just smacks Maxbox against the wall and takes him out as well. Holy crap. Oh my god. Yeah, one, one bad thing that did happen on that mid was that Hot Rod died at 96% Uber. So close. And I, I'm not sure who said it, but the Force of Nature isn't looking too bad on this map. We have here the soldiers bombing up, getting the high ground, just raining down on you. Ray 7, Skyman, and Dan Green. Ray 7 retreating back now. 
but the Pyro is trying to push in. A race 7 getting back in. Blue team trying to retreat through IT. Sergeant Pinecone going for that bomb. Lazy Purple coming in onto a race 7, which oh, finally gets down him. A race seven. He's doing oh, pretty man. good work this this game. Yeah, he's been doing really good so far. I think he's uh, he's gonna pull a try to pull a JPEG and just get to the top of the scoreboard real fast, real quick. Um, but still, the the bearded boys are gonna have to to back up a little bit and hold their second point. In the meanwhile, Skyman is prowling in the blue sewer. He's just uh, waiting for an opportunity. She's gonna be waiting for the rest of her team as well to kind of show up here. But I think they're gonna go the opposite way. They're just gonna run right through IT, and the pyro is just gonna meet them, and. Uh, that's going to force the, the bearded boys to back up. But there's also the engineer with this like huge uh, key blast, I'd call it. Um, call me a nerd, but that thing is powerful as well. And the Uber is also getting popped. Benny's going to take that. Everyone everyone from the uh, the syringe gun noise are going to get taken down except for Max Fox. But Max is living on 6 HP, uh, and he's going to be taken down as well. Yep, there's a huge scuffle in the blue IT. Unfortunately, a race seven gets in deep as well, and they just get rained down, dying, pretty much a wipe. Trying to push into second, however, they do get the respawns at the forward spawn, so the pirate oh. able to reflect it. A race seven going down to Jaybird into sewer, trying to do that far sight line. It looks like they might have to get back, but Skyman saying no, we can do it. Uh, actually, gets obliterated, but it looks like they're <laughs> trying to push in. Proct saying, "Hey guys, get in, Jaybird, got you covered." Got Beef trying to lay some pipe here. Hot Rod almost at Uber. Just have to make sure that the rest of the team dies and you can actually use it. Beef is actually doing a pretty good job there and Jaybird's on a 5k. Oh lord. Okay. Well, I remember. I actually saw earlier in this uh, this round that Noltox was gunning down Jaybird, just making a beeline for him. And he had the right idea, but uh, now that Jaybird is allowed free reign uh, above everyone else this is kind of providing or providing to be difficult for everybody uh, who is op opposing him at the moment and that's right they do push in through the one trying to flank them they do counter it through the rollout come back and trying to contest whoever that does look like the round for the bearded people now we did say see race seven actually switching to crits on that last hold I'm not sure if he's going to switch to it permanently. Uh, actually, yeah, he, he's running it on this mid fight. And I think they can really uh, catch them out of guard because Hot Rod is using the stock minigun. So if they fight long enough on this mid fight, we might see some crit stickies coming out from beef. But go ahead and take it away with this mid fight. Benny is actually the first person to come to mid and he's been doing a really good job in these rollouts. Pretty clean. He's been uh, surfing that ramp quite well and providing some early spam, early stickies, throwing down some uh, some explosives on the floor so his team can get in. However, I don't think much is going to go on here at the moment, although everyone from the red side is starting to fall. Uh, everyone's in red right now. Hot Rod's going to be pushing up with their team, and they're starting to get beef out of the game right now. Beef took a fat rocket to the face, and Skyman's going to also be taken down by Jaybird, so it's not looking so good. Array 7's ditched his demo man and uh, trying to live out though. No! Array 7 drops with a 100% uber charge. And that's gonna be, a, well, technically a wipe um, from the red team. However, Maxbox and Noltox are in the IT right now. Maxbox starting to get onto Jaybird 3, clean rockets onto him, takes him out, and also goes down to himself uh, by. It also go down himself, excuse me, by Sergeant Pinecone. Yep, on that mid fight, they were running Crits Krieg. They might have actually been able to recover if the demo and Matic actually stuck together, but unfortunately, with that Crits <gasps> oh! Krieg. Oh! Oh, Skyman hit a beautiful headshot onto Lazy Purple, kind of like blowing his nose off, but uh, that didn't end up killing him though, because he had an Uber up his butt. <laughs> Yep, Still, it's a very it. good, very good uh, Jaybird impression, though. I, I appreciate it. Got to appreciate that at least. Of course, the point comes out for syringe gun noises. Seeing on this mid fight, Hot Rod's running stock. I think a race seven, keeping on that crits. However, they do have to know 
how to play this mid fight. They have to keep the demo close to them. They shouldn't be too aggressive where they start to lose players. They have to just play passive, just keep it long enough for them to get the crits and be able to execute it well. Oh yeah, so Dan Green showing up with his team here. Kind of hurt, 47 HP. I don't think they're gonna be able to accomplish much. And Jaybird's already on a rampage again. Getting the first kill of this mid. Oliver, he's gonna be traded out just as quickly by Beef. Doing a good job there realizing the threat. However, the rest of his team can't help him out. But Beef is taking this all in his own kind of. He's doing a lot of damage throwing pipes into people and everyone from the Bearded Brigands are kind of going to back up here at half health. And they're going to try to maybe push back in. I think Laser Purple wants to take this back in, but they're kind of kind of thinking, yeah, maybe not. Oh, this maybe might let be them so come fat with us. the crits. Oh, but they did see them come in though. But Have they seen them come in through? The crits is going to be straight on to... Uh, the Bearded Brigands here in a second. Okay, so they do actually back up. Gives them a bit of time. However, Skyman is out. And there it is. Oh, the crits on the hot rod dropping the Uber. This is perfect. This is exactly what they needed. Everybody except for Lazy Purple so far has gone down. Lazy Purple is going to do what he can to kind of clean up these players. He does realize the medic's hurt and oh, no. one shot, one kill. Perfect. Yeah, that was perfect there. The entire team just... They were grouped up in all of race 7, and Beef had to do his pop crits, and they did it. They got three frags with the stickies along with a fadeaway crossbow kill from a race 7. We have Skyman versus Lazy Purple. Skyman going in for pan. the pan versus the two scouts, but unable to successfully defeat them. I can't believe Lazy Purple didn't get taken out there. I don't know what the communication between uh, Beef and Skyman were, but they didn't. Uh, I think Skyman was like, oh, where, where, where is he? Where is he? And I couldn't really find him there. Yep, we see both scouts trying to peek through IT. They don't successfully get anything. We do have the sniper peeking through chokes, so they need to be aware of that. We do have Noltox just hopping and well, he, he dies to that. We have the rest of syringe gun noises in IT trying to push this out. They will have crits sometime soon. Jaybird getting beef. A bit disconnected from the team. Skyman going down as well. And looks like Strange Gun Noises is retreating as they get this crits. But to stop Hot Rod before he gets his Uber, they're gonna have to go so fast. Yeah, Jaybird's still doing, uh, putting up some good work here, trying to uh, push with his team. And oh, nasty headshot onto Noltox. Beautiful. That's what you love to see. But there's a backup going on. Actually, Lazy Purple is gonna try to stop it right there, and he is gonna get enough time for his team to cap mid. So that's pretty good from him. However, he's kind of low health right now. Yep, we can see Dan and Array 7 going to mid. Not sure if uh, if the other team knows about- Oh Ooh, my goodness! That, that was an these... amazing air headshot. Oh, these sniper headshots, the, the trades they're getting, even if they're not sniping each other, they're, just, they're so good and I can really appreciate this. And Lazy Purple just runs through and two shots max box with the fan, uh, Force of Nature. I almost call it Fan of War, excuse me. <laughs> He's just still going. Somebody, please, please, please. Stop him. Trip him over. I don't know. Do something. He, he's going for last. He's seeing what he can get. I don't know if he's hiding, but he does get spotted out. Should go down unless he has those fancy jukes. He's, he's actually juking them, and he makes it out. I think he looked over the JPEG cam yesterday, and he's like, oh, well, maybe I can do that. Maybe I can do that. You know? I think he's just learning. And Lazy Purple is straight into Max Fox's back while Max Fox was uh, charging up that uh, Cow Mangler shot. Um, however, didn't end up going too well for Max. He did live just barely, though. Thank God a race seven was there. Yep, as we can see here, Proct kind of probing around lobby. They do see Max Fox charging that. We have Noltox trying to contest rollout. Almost killing Proct, almost dying himself. It looks like we're going to have a stalemate until we can get the Ubers out. Now, note that Array 7 is still on crits. Hot Rod does have Uber. They're going to have to see what they can do against this Uber incoming. If they can kind of kill the other the team enough. That, oh, Spy? Not getting, not getting the pick, but looks like Array 7 does have the crits. And we're going to have to see what the crits versus Uber fight is going to look like. We do have Noltox and Skyman flanking into rollout, taking down three players, but the crits is still there. But he's not popping in anybody and his entire team is oh, dead. The backup's going on right now and the Uber the crits actually gets popped off. Crit and spy. the 7 without the crits can't ah. do this. Crit spy somebody. 
Oh, this spy is actually buying so much time. The bottle is out from Benny. Going the melee battle here. Max Fox is charging up his shot. It actually takes it down with that. Dan's going to be credited oh. for the backstab, though. And they actually managed to save the point. Oh my gosh. Actually, no. Oh, maybe Lazy Purple's here to save the day. However, Null Tox is back. Denying him with those air blasts. Quick for a second. Oh, yeah. yeah go what? Ahead, Mister. Just how did they not cap? I don't know. I, I really hiding. don't know. He might go for the back cap. Look at him. Oh, this is too advanced. Oh, this is no, too advanced. Wait, wait, wait. Seven 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was perfect. That was awesome. Oh, other scout procs in, but doesn't go too well for him either. I think they're just get, still going to press through one by one, trying to because there's such a lot of cap time. I think they're just going to go for it. Yeah, we did see that come out like again. Lazy Purple popping off that force of nature against Ray 7. Another pit coming out. Looks like Banny was trying to hold the second point, but they oh. were actually taking the pick in here. We have Sergeant Pinecone coming in with the jump. Proct coming in against Beef. Heavy's peed on. You can shoot him, but he gets actually the counter frag. Jaybird's just watching Maxbox really close. Might be able to take him out, but he's, he's going for that charge shot. Not able to get anything. Yeah, Skyman actually out on the poop, doing a lot of damage, getting three kills there. Good for her. And uh, looks like Noltox on the point. They're going to be able to save this and uh, maybe push in. Noltox wants to kill Jaybird right now, but Jaybird with the pee jar is going to be able to save himself from the burning flames. Probably the burning flames of love. I don't know. Noltox. Uh, it's kind of in his face there, but... Uh, Max Fox, I think, is going to want to take this through uh, IT right now. He's charging up that shot, throwing it around the corner. Hits Benny, I smack in the knees, that. and Benny does survive because there's that big old health pack there. Trusty little health pack. And uh, looks like Dan's peeking up with the mock in a third choke, trying to... Oh, actually does hit a nice headshot. Um, doesn't get the kill, though. I really want to see a collateral tonight. That would be awesome. Yep, as you can see here... Gun noises coming through IT. A Ray 7 almost having that crits. We do have the Skyman on Natasha. I want to see those laser beams. Don't disappoint me. Beef coming in behind them, trying to get a frag. Unable to successfully do anything. Lazy Purple also going back, coming through, trying to cut them off. But the crits is going to come out here. Let's see if Hot Rod can finally push an Uber. Laser beams coming out. Not disappointed. Oh no! Oh, but the laser beams do pick up a little bit of damage? I'm not too sure, although the Uber is now faded as well as the crits, and Hot Rod's going to get taken down quite early. However, Race 7 and Skyman also fall as soon as that happens. So it's just Dan Green and Noltox now, and Noltox finally falling. The Demo Knight! Just, the Demo Knight from Dan can save the day. Oh, it does a lot of damage, actually, but uh, Jaybird's going to throw a bullet, and it's somehow going to hit him in the head. I don't know. You just kind of... He's a mathematician. I'm telling you, he's a mathematician because he predicts those arcs just perfectly. It just snaps to the head naturally. You can't explain it. I think, yeah, I just can't explain. But what we can explain is that the bearded people are going to be on to that spire. We have Maxbox and the other soldier trying to hold down that rollout area. Noltox saying, hey, don't, don't get in my lobby. Otherwise, Skyman's going to reinforce with the Natasha. We have Lazy Purple peeking around in that in that hiding spot that Jaybird was trying to do, but someone touched her Nasa Natasha. Oh. Natasha. Someone yep. touched Natasha. Jaybird the sniper going down. Ubers are even. However, bearded brigands are losing players up on this point. Noltox coming in, making space, and it looks like unless they can pop off that Uber, they're gonna have to retreat. Yeah, so I think that they're just going to easily take this back. They're going to just, uh, without the Jaybird threat, it's going to be quite easy to take anything back. But, um, so the Uber's actually going to get popped here onto the poop poop, and Noltox is kind of running for his life, but nah, he wants to, to take this Uber and kind of shut it down, and the rest of the team is all on mid while he's trying to fight everybody on second. Noltox living on 3 HP, holy moly. That's Beef there. He's coming back to, to save the day. However, <laughs> he gets a nice pipe from Benny. And the mid has been capped. This is kind of detrimental yeah. right now because the the core uh, players from 
the bearded brigands are caught onto the midpoint right now and they have to move back as soon as possible or else they're gonna get shut down they do have crits though doing that solo onto max box do have to watch out for benny right behind him and along with hot rod still stranded on this mid fight we're gonna see if max box gets frag skyman coming in hot rod looking to salvage but doesn't look like gonna be able to salvage that lazy purple coming in with his brother proc <laughs> oh my god, lazy purple! Oh my god, you did not see that lazy purple rode on Max Box's head, and just deleted Array Seven. Also, that we didn't, that we did see though, Max Box kind of whipped, uh, whipped Hot Rod into shape there, being the soldier man that he is. Okay, so with both medics down chunk. though, uh, I think we're just gonna kind of see a tiny bit of a stalemate until. Ubers start going out, or Jaybird starts uh, throwing more bullets into the air and somehow hitting people. Just like that. And as I say that, just like that, Noltox is going to lose his head, and uh, they're going to push forward. They're just going to go through. Marching through the midpoint right now, however, they are met with the opposition of the heavy weapons guy. Yep, we had a... Uh... Sergeant Pinecone trying to get that space up there. Lazy Purple very eager to go after Ray 7 yet again. They do get this mid fight here. Ray 7 gonna have crits sometime soon. However, they don't have a demo. Uh, they haven't had a demo for a little bit, so I'm kind of curious what we're gonna see here. It does seem like that a Ray 7 is favoring pocketing. Oh no, dies at 99% oh. Uber. That was so close. <laughs> Looks like Hot Rod and Proct are flanking through Choke while the gun noises are still on mid, so just with the Medic and Scout, Proct hopefully not beating Noltox, looking through his sights, trying to get anybody, but it looks like they're not going to be able to contest this mid. Yeah, Lazy Purple so far this game has just been going forth and just walking and at people and getting kills, and he's... he's uh. He's eager for blood, he wants those kills, he wants that precious score of 100 points, probably. I'm guessing that's what he wants, but um, we've seen this 1v1 between Proc and Array 7. Array 7 trying to get out through 1, but that's not the way that Maxbox went, so they can't survive that. However, Hot Rug does pop her Uber, and they're going to push through here with both scouts onto the point. The rest of the bearded brigands are going to show up. However, um, I don't think they're going to be able to contest this point quite well without... Max box trying to shut them down. Although he does he does fall just as quick with the PGR assistance. Oh Jaybird. Oh Jaybird still wrecking havoc. Oh my lord. And the point is starting to cap Brock is launched up into the air by Dan. So 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 hurt. Oh no, Jaybird Jay is roaming free. Oh dear, that's the third round so far. 3-0 in the favor of the Beardy Boys. Yep, we set some really nice plays out there. Array 7 still going to be on crits. Looks like we do have the uh, Rocket Jumper. Uh, I think, let me see, who was that on? Or did, oh, ac we actually have Beef on the <laughs> Dumpster Diver or the little four shot. We'll have to see if he bombs in there, gets nice sync up onto the Medic or anybody else. Uh, we have Lazy Purple already going in. Deep, He's going trying in. To get that. He's in. Not he misses a bunch of his anybody. rockets though, but he takes down oh. Sergeant Pinecone actually. Heck yeah. Yep, we have Max Fox trying to flank. Actually going to reunite with Benny and Jaybird. We'll have to see if they can defend here. Hot Rod going to have to get out before gets getting his Uber. Oh my gosh, the fish, fish coming out. But he does survive on 41 HP. Almost has Uber. Array 7 almost has crits. Max Fox is going to flank here. Maybe IT. Come on, go now, go now. He's, he's so low. Oh, man. It, I think if that uh, Cleaver hit him, he would have died there. But Lazy Purple telling him to back off. And it looks like they do have crits and the oop. Yeah, I did see that uh, Hot Rod was super, super, super hurt trying to survive with that uber charge. And uh, they will survive, which is awesome. But still, the uh, syringe noises will win that mid however oh lazy purple burns to death in front of his medic oh dear that's not what you want to see however there's a back cap going on the people in mid are trying to cap it out i think they will be able to get it just barely but this is 
horrible for the rest of the red team because now nobody except for the spawners are going to be able to stop this. I don't, th I don't think they want to stop it. They're going to have to bide time until the rest of their combo comes back. Oh, oh double oh, air shot. shot! Oh my lord, Skyman just got blasted into another dimension. That While was the Ubers so are dirty. coming out, however, why is Array 7 still in choke? Array, get in there. Lazy Purple's on your tail right now. Oh, Texan's launches gonna get oh. Any oh, almost greater. Almost. But we do have a back cap, if you can call it that, from uh, Hot Rod and Sergeant Pinecone. I guess they weren't keeping tabs just quite right. I really wanted to see Array 7 just surf that, uh, that... What can you call it? Just a rocket boost, honestly, from the force of nature? <laughs> it's straight back jump. into his team. I, I don't know what you would call that, but it's just a lot of... Uh, I, I mean, I know it's a surf, right? But it, it would... I know, honestly, it's so much force, you just call it a rocket jump at that point. And here, coming here to possibly the, the last mid of this map, um, both teams coming at relatively the same time, both soldiers kind of meeting in the air there, kind of saying hello. Greeting each other, maybe high five. And uh, quite a lot of damage going on. Beef living on just barely any HP does get healed up by Ray 7. And they have a lot of the ground right now. The syringe noises are kind of pushing everybody back. And Maxbox is in through behind, trying to take a 1v everything. Um, does get taken down though, and that might prompt the push from the bearded boys in blue. And that's what's going to happen right now. Benny jumping forward. Uber has been called. Jaybird is. Flying through the air, manages to live from a bomb from beef though. The garden is out, however, he is denied. And the fight's still going on. Ray 7 taken down. It's so funny just to see the quick fix with beef and oh Ooh. hot rod actually going down. Kind of an air shot, I guess you can call it. Pr pretty much just all skill. No there's no randomness in that weapon whatsoever. But both medics gonna be down. The Smith fight actually not over. Sergeant Pinecone. Taking on Maxbox, Noltox, Skyman coming in as well. Proct coming in for Mac for them, but doesn't look like they're going to be able to take it. And the syringe noises do take mid fight here. <laughs> so in chat, while uh, Maxbox and Lazy Purple are dead, Maxbox says, I'm, I'm going to try this Force of Nature scout thing, uh, the strategy. <laughs> and Lazy Purple calls him smart, and. Uh, Maxbox says, holy crap, this gun is amazing. So he's learning, guys. We got probably got another uh, contester for the best scout in the server with the Force of Nature. And Proc so high into the air with the spoon trying to get onto Ray 7, but gets shot out of the air by the pan, it seems. I guess so. Um, but Lazy Purple still very much into play. Does a lot of damage just to Ray, but Ray lives with his life. It just looks like a ballerina with... Four soldiers just jumping in the air constantly. Half of them having their spoon out looking for something. Jaybird kind of trying to peek. Beef coming in with that actually gets caught out while Proct is having fun with that rocket jumper. Yeah, Proct is trying to get some some funny plays here and trying to show everybody how it's done. However, I think, what was the other soldier? Beef? He was showing some pretty good prowess, pretty good skill on the, uh, the beggar's bazooka. So we might see some gardens here, hopefully. There's a, still three and a half minutes left. I think they could get at least one in. Please, please, please. And as I oh say that, my, gosh. my wishes are coming true, Dolphin. I don't know why, but anything I say happens a second later. I am not sure what this is. I am a prophet. This yeah. is exactly what I wanted. <laughs> well, that, I think it's good for everybody. It, it's entertaining, sure, surely. But Hot Rod coming in here with Benny, gonna try to get something. They do have full Uber with this. Now the question is, oh, Dan Green actually flanking. Beef going down to Benny. Benny getting Dan Green. Looks like Skyman, Noltox, and Array 7 are trying to contest this. Benny getting taken down. Hot Rod just isolated on mid. Taken down by Sky Skyman. But we do have reinforcements coming on. The Spoon! Ooh, no, and no, Noltox boosh. eating those toes. Proct trying to get a race 7, but he's just going to nope out of that. Yeah, whoever that was who just died, I th was it Noltox, I think? To the boot, he died to the boot. Yeah, he's going to get that American boot. And uh, Proct, though, delivering that American boot is going to be shot out of the sky by Skyman. Skyman on a 4k right now, doing really well. Holy crap. Yeah, looks like uh, Maxbox trying to cut them off. Actually, going to flank them, actually. Uh, Maxbox actually taken down. 
tried to get Hot Rod there, but he was too too slow. Beef trying to contest rollout here does get PP'd on. Jaybird looking for that. Skyman trying to prod one. No Talk Talks take. In. Oh, oh, another. Almost another uh, onto Dan Green. Almost had a second shot at that, but I think Proc just had like a, a little low jump, just a little, little uh, hop and scotch around the uh, two area, the rollout area, and I think with Jaybird's assistance, they're going to be able to bring back the second point into the Beard's favor. But uh, I don't think that's the case because both the soldiers, the American boys, are coming out here with their rocket launchers trying to stop everything. But actually. Proct oh, there it is. Proct is hungry for more. He's going straight. Oh, nice air shot. Oh, that was actually a really good air shot. And Beef uh, gets credited for Proct breaking his ankles. Um, Skyman, Skyman's back capping. Skyman's back capping right now, doing so much. Oh, yes. The comeback. This is what you love to see. The comeback is here. One minute left. One minute left. Three they rounds. can do it. They can do it. They can do it. There's no golden cap, but they can do it. Can we get them uh, no clip real quick and then just uh, kick everybody on strange noises? <laughs> yes, that's exactly what we want to see. Some good old TF2 uh, admin abuse. Yep, coming onto this mid, obviously going to be dead time. Dan Green just, uh, almost, I thought he was going to jump in. Crocked coming in for that <laughs> market garden and just gets obliterated. I actually hit the market gardener as well, I think, because I saw the whoever the red uh, player was get their health just almost uh, dying, but but he doesn't actually kill that guy. But I actually, yeah, look at this. All of red team gets the point. Let's go. It's dead time. Watch out but for everyone Jaybird. Gets it. Jaybird, though, wants to pull and put more headshots to his name for this game, and he's dancing around Skyman. Oh, oh the bomb from Dan just picks up two for one there. Really good from can actually bring it back. Oh, Come on. they gotta go hyper speeds now. They have to go at hyper speeds, but Proc kills Skyman with the last second spoon. Oh my god, I need to see how many spoon kills he got from these logs. Please, somebody pull it up. It just went back and forth, back and forth. No real stalemates, which I'm happy with, and I'm sure you're happy with all those spoons that came through. We do have the logs here. Let me just uh, check the stats. He got four kills on the market gardener. Not as many as I thought, but he hit quite a bit of them. This final match, or this final map of this match, let's go, Dolphin. All yours. All right. Let's see what we're rolling out. We have sniper. We have pyro, and looks like everybody else is uh, up there. Let me just check on the medi guns. We do have stock, and we do have quick fix coming out. We're gonna have to see how the sniper is on this map. Not as sniper friendly as others, but it looks like. Oh my. Goodness, Dan Green just bombs and gets procced. We have oh, oh Jaybird oh. taking it out on Beef. This is so exciting, but we do have Skyman and Max Fox caught out away from Noltox and the medic. Max Fox still flanking behind. Benny does see him trying to defend his medic. Almost, almost gets him, but procced actually taking the flank. Max Fox still distracting, as that we can see the first mid fight coming out here. Array seven. Full on that charge, Hot Rod taken back down by the, what is that, the detonator, actually. Well, that's quite a change in flare guns there, uh, dear Noltox. Um, but yeah, that mid was very interesting. As soon as you said Sniper isn't very good for this, uh, Jaybird snipes, I think it was a soldier straight out of the air there, uh, still showing his dominance on, on that class. And uh, Lazy Purple and Skyman kind of having a scuffle there on the the scouts and maxbox gonna kind of back her up they're gonna take down lazy purple with lazy's own favorite weapon the force of nature and sergeant pinecone's gonna come in trying to get this cap stopped for the rest of his team to come in but Max unfortunately with, with, with the force of nature oh beef actually helping him out there wait Long oh, range. oh the bottle oh me bottle is scrumpy it's gonna come out and destroy maxbox kind of send him back home um, but sending nobody back home are the red team though because they're just gonna kind of wait on this point for now Yeah, unfortunately Benny was rushed while holding that lobby by the scouts and soldier Noltex trying to trying to defend them Jaybird peeking out there array 7 with that full quick fix charge Gonna look like just gonna hold point wait for their moving Jaybird gonna continue looking for that head Oh, they do use actually Noltox coming in onto Hot Rod, takes him down, takes down Sergeant Pinecone. 
Jaybird, the Lazy Purple. All the players alive there are coming down. We have the Force of Nature versus Force of Nature coming out. Dan Green slamming that bottle around. Lazy Purple just jumping all over them, but finally taken down. Yeah, I think uh, the syringe gun noises are having such a better time on a Koth oriented map. Um, especially shutting down Lazy Purple and, and I think Jaybird as well has died a few times. Um, although Jaybird is top scoring at the moment. So I think they're just kind of learned from the mistakes pre uh, previously on the process, but uh, Benny is on another unlock. He's on the, the loose cannon. Oh, the loose cannon is so good. Lazy Purple is elected to get off the force Max of nature. Bucks, trying to flank again. Noltox destroys Proct with a Reflect Rocket. Oh, that was really good. Maxbox and Skyman, however, are going to get shotgunned down. Uh, Lazy Purple, why has he changed? I think he's he's gotten this more serious. Uh, it's gotta be. He's rounding up the boys. He's trying to get this match over with. Quick fix coming through, trying to flush the rest of the bearded brigade out of there. They do finally get their uber with hot dog. They do have to get beef off of the nipple. That's a very weird sentence I never thought I would say, but they are unable to defend oh, Proct. Oh, almost, so almost. close. Loose cannon coming out here from Benny. Skyman trying to stop, trying to establish uh, their presence on this point. Array seven Noltox coming in for the flank. Jaybird does have to try to go for this. Man, every Dan time jumping in, almost. Oh, Actually, Lazy Purple is still uh, trying to kick, like, to just destroy Noltox here. He's straight onto a Ray 7, three shots of Ray 7, actually. And he's fighting Skyman as well, doing some nice meat shots. I think, I think Lazy Purple's been practicing. He's been hitting the gym. Uh, in, in our case, in TF2's case, been hitting uh, MGE. So, he's, he's kind of beefing up for this. And uh, got to give some praise to him for that. Right there, Lazy Purple was in one of the entrances to the spawn, but they for completely forgot about him. Beef coming in, taking down Sergeant Pinecone. Lazy Purple switching to stock, getting taken down there, but he's doing quite well on this map. Actually, top scoring on the team. Looks like that uh, syringe gun noise is trying to come here in here. Recap the point. Jaybird trying to see about any headshots not coming in yet. Yeah, and actually, Syringe Gun Noises are going to cap back while uh, Beef caps Skyman and Noltox doing so much damage, and as well as Maxbox with the Force of Nature, and that's less than 30 seconds on the clock has been called for the Syringe Gun Noises. Proc is finally on the point to try to get some pressure onto it. Skyman's going to get taken down because the Explosions class, Sergeant Pinecone, is straight in with his medic. And Jaybird still providing a lot of care and assistance for his team. Gonna snipe everybody out, but Array 7 pops his uh, quick fix off. There's a bunch of stickies around him, around his feet. And oh, the proc Ooh. getting taken down by Beep. That's technically an air shot, still in the air. Although it was right in his face. Noltox trying to defend the point. The Ubers have been popped out. Hot Rod's gonna be air blasted onto the nipple. <laughs> it's just gonna stay there for the longest time. Yeah, I. I ooh. Medic getting a levitated out there, Hot Rod. It seems like Skyman actually coming in for the melee. Get fished. Trying to get him. Get Come on, you can do oh, it, you can do it, you can do it. Oh, oh, he does it! But, heck, I mean, they've won that, won that round, so as as long as that, uh, that, that's all that matters. You can fish him as much as you want. Yeah, so that's a first round on this Koth Bagel map, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to see that one round in the lead of... Oh, I, I am very confused about these uh, team names. We've got <laughs> the bearded brig brigands going as Obaba. Uh, I don't know if that's a play on Obama. <laughs> Production says that we should name the mascot of TF Connect after Obaba Romy. Rami, I don't know, but this fight is still going on. The, the midpoint has been capped by the red team yet again um lazy purple still kind of the farthest one furred for his team taking a lot of damage throwing some shenanigans around he's trying to get something done he's the man of the hour the the man in the suit the one with the power he's doing whatever he can yep as we can see they're playing passive here array seven popping that quick fix hot rod has uber 
has the chance to do this, but all of his players are away from him. He's only with Benny right now. They're gonna pop this, but they have to be careful that the rest of the team isn't caught out and dies. But it doesn't look like that's gonna happen. They do clean it up on the syringe noises, and that's gonna be the capture and even times for Bearded Brigade. Looks like they are gonna be trying to hold aggressive here. The scouts have this lazy purple <laughs> and proct very confident in this. They love flanking, they love being aggressive. Looks like the sniper actually not going to be playing at all, so we can get as much as we want into each other's faces without any threat of getting our faces blown off here. We have Jaybird going, being flown into the air. Lazy Purple trying to defend the point. Array 7 almost up on that minigun. Yeah, I want to see Jaybird get launched into the skybox again and get air shot at some point because... Man, he's got it coming for throwing so many bullets in this people's heads. Come on. But in any case, that's going to be caught out as revenge right now as the syringe gun noises are going to cap the mid. And they're going to be super aggressive with this hole now because they have the demolitions, man, doing a lot of damage. However, uh, Lazy Purple and Jaybird are going to kill him in the process. And it's not looking too good. The Pyro is the only thing that can save Array 7 right now. And Array dancing around these... Props in the back trying to live gets taken down by lazy purple and lazy purple's on a 5k at the moment Yep, very nice him and maxbox definitely the players of the game. They're doing a lot of flank work Hot rod down very low skyman's trying to capitalize on that However, they're not gonna be able to do that. We have beef and dan trying to work the point but looks like that the brigade bearded brigade are playing together stopping that cap Skyman and Maxbox going off, trying to go against Hot Rod. Doesn't quite have that Uber. Very hurt. Miltox trying to push in with his medic with the quick fix, but doesn't look like they're going to be able to get much here. Yeah, you, actually, you know what I haven't seen yet? I know all of the unlocks except the Diamondback are on, but I have seen in this game in the previous map that uh, the flying guillotine was flying across the sky, uh, but didn't really get anything done except for maybe a couple bleeding players, but I would really love to see some of uh, blue shenanigans that I remember back in the day that he would do with uh, the Sandman and the flying guillotine. Um, while things are flying across the map, including projectiles at the moment, uh, Lacey Purple's gonna die to a couple stickies and the round is going to go back into the favor of the syringe gun noises. Um, we did see the spy from Maxbox while I was uh, talking there, and doesn't really get too much done. It's going to get taken down early. I wonder if he's going to go back. To nope, he's going to stay on the scout class, and the only off class at the moment is Noltox on the pyro. Oh, Lazy Purple, the flank. Lazy Purple flanking through on the right side of his side of the map, um, taking down a race 7 quite easily. Uh, I think this should go well for them because now Maxbox is down as well and Sergeant Pinecone's fighting Dan here on the sidelines and while that's going on pressure on the point six players seven players capped or actually six players capping it I don't know not doing my math I can't think for the moment everyone from the side of the syringe go noise is dying Dan Green's gonna col get collapsed upon and that's going to be another cap less than 60 seconds going in how will this bear out for the rest of this minute? Uh. Hopefully Hot Rod can hold on to that Uber while this push is coming out from the syringe noises. Not gonna look like too much is gonna be going good for them because both of their scouts are down. And that's gonna be such an issue trying to capture this point with no scouts. This is gonna be so difficult. Sergeant Pinecone so hurt here. Looks like they're just gonna stack point and you know, they, they pop already. So if you're going to try to capture this point, we're just going to pop. We only have 15 seconds left. Maxbox coming out, the heavy weapons guy with the, the gloves of running urgently, trying to get onto the point. However, there's five, four, three, two, one. No one's going to be able to get on it. Actually, they are going to get on it, putting a lot of pressure onto that point. Though there's so much cap time. It's overtime now. Anyone's game here. Lazy Purple is the only one left alive. Never mind. Benny. Benny's the only one left alive. But Skyman is also super hurt. They actually take the doubt. Oh, yes. But now there's a minute. They have to hold this for an entire minute as the whole spawn wave of the bearded brigade, as I'm calling it now, are going to pop forward here. And Oh, Max, that's not what you want to see. Dying early in a hold. 
No! That's gonna be so bad. Gan Green's also gonna get taken down by Lazy Purple, but everyone's in this area, and Noltox is gonna take the quick and easy frag over everybody from the side of Syringe Noise is gonna die. That's gonna be another round. But in favor of the Bearded Boys. Yep, starting to even it out here. Only 30 seconds left for the Syringe Noises on the clock. Thankfully, they were able to do as much as they can. On this mid, looks like we're gonna have Maxbox going on that spike play. Uh, we have Bearded Brigade going with the classic sixes. We have Dan Green and Skyman just flooding up against the Bearded Brigade, but they have explosive classes to deny them. Noltox trying to contest point, not being able to do that. Array 7, meanwhile, taken down by Jaybird, doing that soldier play. Hot Rod, oh, Maxbox actually backsteps, search Pinecone. And that's gonna be the point for Bearded Brigade. Ooh, Jaybird showing his dominance in the DM here is gonna take down Dan with one, two quick and easy rocket splashes on the wall. Um, I've gotta say though, Lazy Purple Lazy Purple's on again. a four uh, domination. He, oh, the high bomb from Jaybird, I think that's what it is. Not gonna get too much done here because nobody's there to meet him. But as I was yes, saying, was Lazy someone. Purple on the four dominations right now is kind of a. Uh, Trying to match JPEG from earlier, getting the six doms. I don't know if he can do it. He might be able to, um, but there is a lot of aggression here from uh, the syringe gun noise. However, Proct on the prowl. He's behind. He's on the scout. The Uber has been popped. I think the collapses are going on. Race seven's down. Yes, the collapse is occurring right now, ladies and gentlemen. The collapse is happening. Benny's the last one alive for his team, and that's a full wipe. Yeah, they had to be really careful because Hot Rod had 25 HP and 96% Uber. That could have gone wrong really quick. Jaybird going in with the spawn camping, but he does kind of blow his cover too early. He could have gotten a race up in there, but it looks like Lazy Purple hiding on top of the air conditioning unit. Going to try to flank again. This is this this game is just flanking scouts, taking it down medics. He's in. Can he get it? He, he does, does it. get it! Oh my gosh! He's not he's being lazy at all, he's Benny. quite active, honestly. <laughs> he's you being quite active. Again. Yeah, I mean, he's being quite active in taking down the medic and getting a lot of dominations. Although he did lose one, unfortunately. Oh man, it looked like he was on a good track there. He's still on a good track, though. He's uh, taking care of a lot of situations for his team. Actually, getting more points than Hot Rod. Which is the medic class, so that's very interesting. Um, Maxbox still kind of trying to lead the push for his team right now. He's going to get bombed by Jayboard. A lot of rockets, and he lives with such barely an HP, but the banner has been popped from Syringe Noises. Uh, can they do anything with it? Looks like Dan's going to jump in. Beef is going to get a lot of damage. Actually gets two kills there. And go, jumps forward with his team. A race 7. Now Null Talks. All there is to it on the point while Skyman... Beef kind of go into their rescue to throw Sergeant Pinecone out of this fight. Yep, we saw Hot Rod going in with one of his players. He 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 saw that his player was just getting air blasted and just tried to nope out of there. However, he was caught out there and is going to, was going to die. Uh, we do have the full Uber advantage for a race seven. Looks like the Bearded Brigade is going to try to push in here. They cannot do anything su successful here. Although the syringe noises is, is very hurt, Skyman going after Hot Rod, trying to get those shots, unable to make anything, and Proc is discouraging that behavior, killing him. Yeah, so Skyman was straight onto Hot Rod there, trying to get her down to as little HP as she could, but unfortunately Hot Rod does live with her life. And Jaybird trying to do something with his life, jumping around, gets hit with the flare and a direct at the same time, but so conveniently health packs are around the map. He's actually flanking, takes down a race seven, just magically like that, pops into his rear view. And Jaybird's still living on such low HP, and Dan is trying to survive less than 60 seconds on the clock, has been called. I don't think they're gonna be able to do anything for like another 20, but they're gonna try to push their luck here, and they're gonna push through Beef, the furthest one forward, taking all of the weight to himself, and the Uber has been popped from uh, hot rod there and she's gonna go a lot for it. she's actually gonna get blasted into the air trying to escape with her life she does 
but still there's a lot of players on the ground here dan's jumping forward straight onto hot rod hot rod eats a fat rocket and dan blows himself up yep we have a race seven trying to push in actually loses his scout there her pyro but japer going in for a race seven all this flank work on this game lazy purple flanking right now actually a race seven is going to have to use that full quick fix to, to test point here but the players are dying on the side of strange noises they gotta cap this off they pop the quick fix but they, they're having trouble here they're they're struggling and they lose that now with the uh with the fast cap coming in you know the other side is that it fast you know it fastly uh dissipates so you have to stay on the cap you can't let the other team stay on there and roll your uh accomplishments behind so you got to stay on there for the entire time but let's see what goes on this mid fight max box coming in for spy seeing if that he can get anything this time dan green actually getting air shot by jaybird on the direct hit Oh, yep, we're seeing some off-class shenanigans on the soldiers, which we love to see. Japer jumping forward, getting quite a bit of damage done. Does take down Noltox. Max Fox. Oh, Max Fox backsteps. Hot Rod, that's what you love to see. It's exactly what they needed here to try to get this midpoint going on. However, the midpoint is going into uh, the bearded... Brigand's favor, they're going to start whittling down finally. The round has started. This might be the last round of the night, but I don't think this wrench gun is going to let this happen. They're going to try to do everything they can to bring it back. Yep, they're trying to push through here. However, they lose both of their scouts. Jaber trying to get them with There's a soldier the direct hit. Sergeant Pinecone, oh. craters actually. Croc getting in there, taking down a race seven. Unfortunate for them, Beef trying to contest point, but Lazy Purple is going to say, no, this is mine. Beef, Benny trying to defend the point against Noltox, Lazy Purple going in as well. Jaybird, got to watch out for that direct hit, but you also have to watch out for Noltox. He did pretty well the other night, and you don't want to try to direct hit him and get it back, send it to you. Yeah, but Jaybird actually is going to get... Uh the flare thrown in his face while he's trying to take down beef but beef takes no damage whatsoever that's the downside of directed if you miss a rocket even if it's close range it doesn't hit it doesn't splash the floor that's no damage whatsoever so it's very risky using the directed unless you're very confident in your aim but it looks like the uber is going to get popped off from hot rod and she's going to try to do whatever she can with it Actually going to back up with their team there. Lazy Purple is going to come to the rescue. Benny is going to die to Max Box. Is bleeding. I don't know what he used. But that's going to probably be it. Skyman is on the poot poot yet again. I think this is a good This is a good idea. Because the poot can hold this point. It's so close. Look at, look at where Skyman is standing. It's so close to the point. Yep, we saw from Noltox reflecting those direct hits. Reflecting the uh, the milk, I think, as well. Jaybird trying to lead this push with the direct hit. Really uh, easy against Skyman the Heavy because very slow, but they do pop the quick fix, recovering the point. Lazy Purple trying to probe, but Noltox actually jumping in there gets taken down. Looks like a lot of the players on Syringe Noises have good health, but they have to try to defend this point because it is very, very possible that they get quote unquote back capped. And that's actually what's going to happen at the moment because the point is back to being capped. I don't know why they didn't put any more aggression into it. They could have uh, held the point, although it's fine if they give it up because I think they knew the Uber was going to come out from Hot Rod again, and that's what happens right now. But the Uber is now faded. Oh, oh. rocket from Sergeant Pinecone going through everybody's legs taking down a race seven and jaybird is back on sniper kind of providing some support for his team um but at the moment the clock has ticked down to less than 60 seconds this might be the end of it yeah we saw lazy purple come in flanking do a meat shot onto race seven and then race seven dying to spam we do have the reflex coming in here yet again jaybird gonna be able to defend the point they're going to have to walk in, and they're going to have to jump in. However, they only have one soldier, so they're going to be a bit slow, especially with Skyman on heavy. Maxbox, though, flanking, but does fail to the scout. Benny holding this on his own, trying to take them on. Proct trying to flank. 
and the health for syringe noises is, is abysmal they're they're gonna need to group up here but while they're grouping up rehealing hot rod does get the uber and we have to watch out for proc flanking the oh. combo again if a race seven gets me shot which he does he's got he, oh not able to dance oh enough. no there's no presence on the point now benny's trying, trying to do everything he can to stop beef in his tracks and that's going to be it three to one that is g g the bearded brigands are going to be your victors from this na round three thank you so much everybody for coming out tonight of course thank you so much for donating just adding on please donate we need that what phil Let's get the what fill, please. I've been yeah, begging. Yeah, looking forward to winning what fill and championships. Come on, we need. <laughs> yeah, we need that. Uh, I would yeah. love to see what fill. You know, was a pleasure to cast. It was actually pretty exciting, pretty competitive. watching till the end like and sub to see more of our tf2 content and visit this playlist to get the rest of the tf connect 2020 shenanigans